Am I wrong for this? Anytime I tell this story, no one ever agrees with me. But I swear when I think about it, I'm right. So when I first moved to Atlanta, I didn't know anybody. And I joined Bumble and matched with this guy, right? We had been talking, I think, for like two or three weeks. And I got a good vibe. So anyway, I had asked him if he knew any handy people. Because I had a lot of like furniture coming into my apartment. And I needed help putting it together. Although I did not know him well enough, I trusted him enough to come to my apartment. Now, in hindsight, that was probably a bad idea. But it is what I did. So before he came to my apartment, I had a conversation with him about payment because I didn't want for him to come and I didn't like him and then he felt like he got got. So we talked about payment and I told him I'd give him a certain amount for him putting together like two pieces of furniture. Well, he put together a bed and a desk. So I don't remember exactly how much we agreed on, but I did say I was going to sell him the money. So when he came over, he came over like early this Saturday morning and he ended up like starting right away. He was definitely somebody that I could see myself talking to in the long haul. So it was cool. Like he was putting this, we were getting to know each other. We were talking about family. We were talking about life, all this kind of stuff. So around lunchtime, I ordered us something to eat. And as we were eating, we were like really talking, right? It was good. So when he was done, he kind of like chilled for like another couple of hours just to like rest and we were really vibing and he was like, I would really like to see you again. And I was like, cool. So when he's ready to go, we go outside and he gives me a hug and then he was like, okay, so I'm going to text you my Zelle information so you can send the payment. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. So in the moment, I was just a little shocked, but I didn't like let it on. I was just like, okay, just text it to me. So the next day I sent the Zelle payment and I was just like, oh, thank you for coming over. I really appreciate it. And then I didn't say anything else. And he was texting me and I did not respond. And he wasn't used to that because obviously we had been like texting all day long, you know, talking throughout the day. It was good at that time. But then I just decided that the fact of him asking me for money after like we had a good day. And I, I do understand that we agreed upon it, but I just thought it would be different since we were going to start dating. So finally he asked me like what's up and i was just like honestly i know we did decided that i would pay you for that but i really thought it was tacky that you actually asked me for the money afterwards and and you took it so i did end up cutting it off and we didn't talk again but when i told my cousin about it she was like you guys agreed on it like i don't understand what 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 the problem was and honestly like if i'm gonna date you and you know you put together some furniture for me you're gonna charge me i don't know like what do you guys think so it's tacky huh it's tacky that he asked something that you guys already agreed upon now this is one thing that a lot of guys end up getting confused about sometimes especially a woman that they're just dating and this can be equivalent to her asking for money in this case because ladies you don't want him asking for buns right off the bat right if he buys you dinner should he get buns but if he fixes this, you shouldn't have to pay him after you guys already agree. Now, some guys will be like, okay, I'm over here. I'll just do this just to show her whatever. Meanwhile, you got Pookie or Tyrone who she's dating because she's on these date naps. She could be dealing with several other dudes, but you were the dude that decided to come over and help her out, which a lot of you were saying you could be winning brownie points. It's a two-way thing in terms of proving yourself to a woman. So she threw out things like tacky and title. You were shocked when he said, let me send you my information. This is time out of this man's day. He helped you put this stuff together. You would have paid someone else, but you don't want to pay him. And this is where lines do get blurred. We decided after lunch that we were going to start dating. So that automatically means it was tacky that you didn't offer to send this man his money, that he would have to ask you for it. And then you want to go and ghost him because he asked for money that you promised the guy that you guys agreed upon. This is where ladies get things mixed up because they want men to do. It's an entitlement thing, especially a very attractive woman. I'm a woman. I'm beautiful. You need to be doing things free and men will do stuff like this for women for free. So she just assumed that no, you pay that man. I've been in customer service in the past. And sometimes when women find out that you can do certain things or that you have a certain skill, you're not quite dating, but they'll try to use you and don't let a woman get over on you, man. If she doesn't want to pay you, that's not the type of woman that you should be dealing with. Now, if you guys are already dating, like she just said, according to her, they just started dating that day. But that's crazy. She made a follow up video, guys. We'll go ahead and play this video. Let's go and see what she has to say. <laughs> tough crowd. Y'all are tough. You know, I put that video out there and I asked in the beginning of it, was I wrong? In life, you can do something and be wrong. It's okay. This thing happened two years ago and I was reflecting and I, I put it out there or whatever. You can disagree with me, 
what is not nice to do is just be mean about how you disagree. I'm not talking about this comment specifically. I'm just, some of the comments that I read were so unnecessary. You can say, yes, you were wrong. And this is the reason why you, we can have a disagreement without being mean. And I don't understand why there needs to be some mean comments about something that happened in my life that really has no bearing on yours knowing himself that he wanted to date me after because he went home and hit me up after and was like you know what's up like what are we doing how are we gonna start dating and if you have that in your mindset while you're at my house putting together furniture how can you then ask me for money but listen like y'all can disagree one of my friends was on there saying it was a transaction she disagreed with me another friend agreed with me so we can agree to disagree but we just don't have to be mean about it that's i think that's just all i'll have to i'll say about this and i'm sure i'm not the only person who has made mistakes during their dating life because we're all human and i say things on here about my experiences whether you know me being vulnerable and putting my business out on the internet it you know whatever it comes at a cost right because it's not just everyone who's going to be nice about it but i'm just saying next time like if you're making a comment about something and you disagree just be nice you, you can you can say i disagree just be nice Baby, one thing you need to learn about social media, especially if you're just now getting on here, is that you open yourself up to criticism and you just have to take it. Someone just did a video about me, about an interview I did with someone else, and they had some stuff to say about how I do my interviews. It's just what happens. But one thing for sure is that this entitlement situation that you keep alluding to, which there are going to be women that says that he should have, but you said this was afterwards he talked about the dating, right? at the time he agreed to come over there he agreed to fix some things and that's what it is we don't know what's going to happen that was like your first date right there him coming over there i'm assuming that was like the real interaction you guys in close proximity conversing and all these different things but if you don't say anything women will just a woman like her this is a woman that will just say i'm a woman i don't have to do anything but in the same breath should say that she shouldn't give you any buns how dare you ask for buns how dare you ask for money baby pay me my money that's a fine line fellas like i said and i'll go back to what i said previously she will deal with a guy or she'll talk about it with a guy a pookie or whoever and he won't do anything and she won't bat an eye or say anything about it turning her off because obviously she's hinting that she just got turned off it just put a bad taste in her mouth but this guy who's clapping the cheeks and just doing whatever he doesn't even change so much as a battery in the smoke detector and you guys know that look at how many women that have been on these platforms in the past that call into shows who smoke detectors going off and you think someone's not clapping those cheeks you must be out of your mind and he refuses to do anything but she's gonna get this guy who basically was like yo we agreed upon this on man i'm done and eventually i don't know where she's at in life she appears to be mid 30s i take it maybe mid to late 30s i'm sorry if i got your age wrong but baby the older you get unless you got some kids to do it for you you're gonna have to be paying men to do these things you're not gonna be paying a woman a lot of times to come over here and do this stuff unless you're dealing with a stud but hey i'm just saying this is one of those situations how women get turned off because a man is standing on principles he's confident enough to say hey i'm not falling we can date you have to prove yourself to me just as much as i have to prove myself to you the way she came off was that he was begging her to date her baby give me my money anyway guys let me know what you guys think comment below like share comment and subscribe hit me up on linktree to book a one-on-one -on -one with yours truly purchase all my books merch t-shirts helps to support the channel follow me on facebook instagram and tiktok with that being said, much blessings in abundance. Stick around for the next video that's going to pop up on the screen below. That's where I'm going to see you guys. That is your favorite everything. This is wisdom. I'm out of here. Peace.